Hey guys, it's Heather. In today's video, I have a sale Ann Taylor and Loft haul. Okay, so what I've done, I haven't taken anything out of the packaging, or I've taken them out of the shipping bags, but I have not taken them out of the pouches yet. I have everything set with my receipts in case something doesn't work, doesn't fit, whatnot, I can take it back to the store. So I need to, I need to keep myself organized. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with my Ann Taylor haul, which is quite a few pieces. Now, when I did this, this was about two and a half uh, weeks ago. Um, I went onto their sites. I was looking at the sale items that they had. Um, and at that time, there was like an additional, and I don't know if they still are, there was an additional percentage off of their sale, their sale items. And I had put a bunch of stuff in my cart and I checked out and then during the at least two and a half weeks, okay, it shows that it is a 40 to 70% off of your purchase right now, extra 60% off of sale styles. So um, anyway, some of those items after I'd purchased them came, you know, were out of stock. So I got notifications saying, sorry, this item is no longer available. And then they don't charge you for those items. They, they charge you as you sh as they ship from what I understand. So let me bring up my, this way I can see, what is this? I ordered this on, that's not the right order. This was the end of May, I think, or beginning of June. Oh, see, this is, this is a notification of when something came out of stock. So give me a second to find this. All right, I am gonna have to keep my glasses on. I do have my order up, but I don't think that's gonna work for me. I did keep all my little papers with this. So it will tell, it shows me on this paper that in this little pouch is a final sale, um, Mother of Pearl Clover bracelet. The regular price, oh, it doesn't say the regular price, gosh darn it. Uh, $39.50, I can find it on there. And I paid $8.70. And I just thought it was super pretty. Let's see. And it looks like it has an adjustable uh, crasp. An adjustable clasp. I mean, it's final sale. So that can't go back. I had ordered a couple of t-shirts that were sold out. And I got notifications saying, sorry, those are going to be removed from my order. Um, a pair of bee earrings that I really wanted. And then I found them on Poshmark again and somebody was charging the full price um, for what their, their original price because they were no longer available on the website. So here's that little mother of pearl. I mean, do you see the mother of pearl in there? Yes, that is still the wish bracelet right there. All right, so $8.70, I think I can throw away this piece of packaging. I'm gonna be keeping that and I've got that tag. I'll have to get that in a second. All right, then then this this came. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, those all have the little packaging in them, the little packing slips, I guess, so I can tell. Sorry about the noise. This one I'm not sure about. This one is the final sale. Oh, so I guess I am sure about it. Blue multi final uh, petite plaid peplum top. Now this is kind of like a, a thick knit material. It has a boat neck. Um, Let's see if I can find that on here. And I, you know, if, if I find anything that's still in stock, then I'll put it in the description box below. But like I said, most of this stuff is final sale. The regular price was $79.50 for this. It's navy blue and then like a royal blue and white. Looks like it's going to be about three quarter length sleeves. There is a waist seam here, you know, like a, a one inch thing and it's going to pep them out. And I thought that would be cute with some little white capris. So I said, what I say this was regularly $79.50, I paid $20.62. So clearly being a final sale item, that will not be going back. All right, and then the next item, that's why I kept them all individually in these so that I wouldn't have to go digging for what they were and what the regular prices were in case I wanted, I need to return them. This is also a final sale. Now this is a sweater, a uh, sweater tee is what they're calling it. It's um, popcorn stitch puff sleeve sweater tee. So here is, it's a short sleeve little, what do they call that, a puff sleeve? Yeah, a little puff sleeve here, these little pleats here. 
a crew neck and it's just an ivory color with little popcorn things on it the that's not it here it is regular price for this was eighty four dollars and fifty cents and i got it for twenty dollars and thirty two cents and i just thought that was really cute um, I am, I for some reason have been very attracted to um, items that were a little dressier here recently. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. I hope all this stuff fits me because I have not been doing well. Um, I, I think a lot of it has been some stress and I've just been kind of, like yesterday I ate a Dairy Queen Blizzard and over the weekend I ate Duck Donuts and I need to nix that again. I'm still eating freshly and I'm still eating my morning smoothies. It's just I... I don't know. I don't know. I, I need to get my head wrapped back around and get my, my head screwed back on tight. So we have three bags here and one more item. All right. These are, oops. okay, I got these and I ate the teeth. Now I have found when it comes to like a slack type thing or a dress pant, I don't want them to be form fitting. So in some cases, a six petite works properly. And in some cases, an eight petite works properly. So in this one, I have no idea. This is the petite gingham crop pant. They're little black and white gingham pants. They do have sewn back pockets, which I don't think that they, yeah, they are. All oh, they're sewn. You're not really going to open those up. This is the crop mid rise, lean through the hip and thigh, slim leg hits above the ankle. So I got these in an eight petite. And I paid, here we go, regular price is $79 and I paid $26.81. I thought these would be cute with the black top, a hot beef, I'm like with the color top I've got on right now, which is kind of a pinky color. This could be with so many different colors and they're little crop pants. It's just a button and a zip in the front and the front has the, like a little coin pocket on both sides. So really not functional pockets. All right, so let me put that receipt with that. And that one was not final sale. So if I decide that I want to go down to a six petite, then I can. And we're going to be out and about today. We're, we're working on us and moving forward. And so and we've got a lot of stuff brewing. All righty, this item doesn't look like much at this moment. Hmm. Okay, this is a tie front blouse. I don't see that on this paperwork. Um, it's very wrinkly. It was wadded up in that bag. This is winter white, medium petite. It's got like little gold colored buttons down the front and it is a tie neck. You can tie it around the front and it drapes down the front. The little gold buttons here are also on the sides, and I'm not seeing that in this. Okay, yes it is. It's the second page. Final sale, petite tie neck blouse, and of course now it pops up. Regularly, this is $89.50, and I paid $17.42. It looks a little sloppy here, so I mean, once I have it put on with it as an outfit, that will be helpful. Put that there. Okay, I do have my loft below, so maybe I'll end up making this just the Ann Taylor. I don't know, because I don't want to take, I don't want my videos to be so long anymore. This is a Ann Taylor Petite. I think this is the seasonless, Petite Seasonless Yarn Sweater. It's just a short sleeve, very thin knit. Now, I did go with a large Petite with this. I was reading some reviews, and I uh, people were saying that it ran a little small. I would want this to be, maybe this would be cute with this little crop pants. I didn't want it to be form fitting. So, well, it's just a very thin neck, crew neck. And the price on this doesn't show on that. So this one was called the Petite Seasonless. Oh. Petite Seasonless Yarn Sweater Tee. It's saying that I paid $67.40 for it, so. That one was probably not the best. I mean, it was $69.50. I don't understand how that happened. Maybe the discount came off somewhere else. All right, let me put that to the side. I'll try that on with those um, little pants. Put that down there. All right. 
This is a, this is something different. This is, this is a more business casual, a business style, okay? The first thing we have is a jacket. Let me find these. All right. This is the petite peplum jacket in cross hatch. I did size uh, 10 petite. Sometimes I need some business attire that fits and looks halfway decent on me. But this is a little peplum style jacket. It's cross, you can see the material is this called cross hatch on here. Um, it is a, trying to find it again. Petite peplum jacket in cross hatch. Size 10 petite in neutral multi. Regular price on this jacket is $189, $189, and I got it for $43.66. It is buttoned down the front, and is a little peplum style down here. This would even look cute with a pair of black jeans and some heels with a blouse underneath it. You know, dark denim, same same type of situation. Okay, that's just a fuzzy on it. So I just thought the price of it was it was really nice, and we'll, I'm going to put this as an outfit together, maybe with that um, tie neck shirt these are the pants that go with it these are the petite trouser pant and crosshatch same color I got these in an eight petite because I wanted them to be a little bit loose and I could always I mean they the prices were really good here the regular price of these were $109 and I got them for $26.18 so they are the tabs and buttons and it is going to be a Kind of a, a trouser leg so we'll see how that works but it does not say final sale Put that one up there with that one i'm sorry about the noise and then you know because of the sale and because i was interested in it this is the same material with no stretch in it whatsoever so i went with a 12 petite this is the petite keyhole cap sleeve dress in cross hatch. I went with a 12 petite because of the girls. The front here does have a little um, hook closure. So it makes it a little keyhole. It is zipped down the back. It looks like it's going to be a below the knee. And I thought even with the little peplum blazer over top of it, it might be cute. Or if I go with another color of a blazer. So what did I say the price was for this? Did I say? Maybe not. Regular price for this was $149 and I paid $34.92. And then last but not least from my Ann Taylor haul. Oh, that is a bag. The puppies are in the other room with Adam right now. He's he's mapping out our day right now. Told well, him I needed to get a little stuff done around here first. Sorry. I got a little pair of shoes. And these are the Annabelle Strappy Suede Mule Pumps. I just thought they were so sexy. They're a pointy toe. They're a slide mule. Ooh, they're only about a two to three inch, maybe two and a half inch, maybe three inch, I don't know, um, lift. But then you have the straps that go down. These would be great for fall and winter. And I got these in a six and a half. The regular price for these were $138 and I paid $29.06. So, all right, so what I'm gonna do, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and open, that is all by Ann Taylor. Let me put this down here. Ooh. My loft order wasn't quite as large and it's a little more casual. All right, the first item here is the Petite Linen Blend Button Front Wide Leg Pants. And I got them in a navy blue. Um, I, I got these in a medium petite. They are, have little two little buttons here, or no, I'm sorry, they button down the front. They are a linen blend. They do have pockets here and stitched pockets back here with a little, you could just rip that seam. They are a wide leg navy blue. I just thought they were very, very sweet. Regular price on these was $69.50. I paid $31.27. I'm dropping stuff on the floor. Is that the only thing that's on that receipt? Yep. So let's put the loft here. Sorry. All right, I did get some jewelry here as well. Um, this must be this.
floral charm necklace. This must be the floral charm necklace. I thought that was really cute. Um, regular price on this was $44.50. Then it was marked down to $39.99 here on the back. I paid $8.44. And I thought that would be pretty with that peplum jacket with maybe a t-shirt underneath it. I'm not sure. So I was trying to mix the, the two. $8.44. That was that receipt. And that was also a final sale. I mean, they were running out of stuff. Like I said, there was a lot of things that I had purchased and they got an email saying, sorry, this item is no longer available. All right, where's the next? Uh... Mm -hmm. The next set of paperwork, the next receipt. I don't see it. Oh, it must be this. Because I did, all of these items on both came one piece here, one piece there. Um, in fact, one of these pieces of jewelry was sent in a giant bag and one little bitty thing in it. And then one bag came with a lot in it all at one time. So, let me find, let's just start here. A while back, I had tried this on in a lot haul and I sent it back. Um, I think it was partly the price and it was partly the, uh, I got a lot of compliments on it. Emily said I should have kept it. And now that I'm going darker with my hair, which I do have a hair appointment on Thursday and I am going to have her incorporate darker more, um, have some blonde highlights, but I, I need a hair. I need my hair done. Um, the regular price on this was 54.50 and I ended up paying $22.49 for it. So I repurchased the same thing. And I thought with denim, whatnot, I, I ended up liking it, wishing I'd kept it. And then when I saw it was on sale, I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and buy it again. All right, let's put that down there. That is the petite striped balloon sleeve blouse. Put that there. The, I know this was, this was not an easy way to do this. There's a pajama set in here. So let's go to that. And I got the top and a large petite because I don't know about you, but I like my pajamas to be loose and flowy. So this is the chambray linen petite floral embroidered top, um, pajama top. That is the t you can tie the sleeves however high or low you want. And it's just like a little crop. It looks a little big actually, but that's okay. And probably once I wash it, it's going to shrink a little bit. But I paid $17.70 for that. I thought that would be cute for summertime sleeping. And then I bought the matching bottoms, little shorts, the petite floral embroidered pajama short. I got these in a medium and the chambray linen. And these were $17.70 as well. So that is a cute little sleep. I mean, I'll try that on for you, but I will have a bra on and stuff. All right. Let's see. We put this down here with that. I don't, I'm, I don't think all of these things are going to be on this order, so I'm going to have to find it up here. This is the bottle sweater tank in the color Frosty Mocha. This was not a petite. This came, I bought this in a medium for $17.49. I just thought that was so crisp with some denim shorts or some navy blue shorts or uh, capris or whatever. I just thought that was cute. It's probably going to need a cross a razorback bra to go with it, but I thought it was really pretty. I will try to figure out some ways to make outfits out of these to show you when I do a try on. All right, a couple of tank tops. I'm not even going to pull out of the bags right now. Um, I'm always in need of clean, crisp tank tops, and they were not on this sheet. Let me just find a little petals that's not petal sleeve I'm gonna skip that for a second and go to this because I see it this is the petite floral tie waist fluid pants this is in the color forever navy I thought that was really pretty at first I thought it was black but when it was Nate found out it was navy I liked it even more and this I was thinking about putting a white tank top with they do have pockets it is kind of a paper bag style and it has a tie at the waist the regular price was $69.50. I paid $31.27. And they are going to be just a wide leg fluid pant. 
easy to wear with sandals running out looking really put together in the tanks i wish i could see those oh no cropped halter tank oh maybe that's why i did that at first I was going to order these in a medium and I went back, I mean in a petite, and I went back in and decided that being cropped, I probably didn't want them to be in petite because they were going to be like really cropped. So this one is in, I want to say winter white or just plain white. So I just got it in a medium In it is kind of cropped though, isn't it? I don't know how that's going to work on me. These were $12.25 each. I got one in the Forever Navy, Navy and one in white. <clears throat> All right, this I believe is a midi skirt. I just thought that was so pretty. Oh, I got this one in an eight as well. Maybe it'll be fine. It'll probably be better on me right now for sure. It is the petite floral fluted mini skirt. It does have a zip at the side. There's no stretch in it whatsoever. It's very, maybe I'll try this on with that white one. It's very uh, silky. It does have a slit at the knee, it looks like. What is the material on this? Really, Heather? There we go. Polyester, 100% polyester. This one was regularly $69.50. I paid $41.70. We're almost there. This must be that, what I keep thinking is what I'm looking for is a... Where'd it go? Petite Petal Sleeve Tee. And this is in the color black, but the, it's like a tulip petal or rose petals here at the sides. I thought that was really pretty and I got it in petite, large petite. I paid $17.25, regular price is $34.50. And then two more items here. This is the Puff Sleeve Tee in the color perfect rose i got this one in a medium petite i'm not sure it's kind of got this gathered look all the way through it's very soft regular price was 34.50 i paid 12.44 and the very last item is this little it's not the floral charm bracelet or charm necklace it is the stone cluster necklace Thought that was pretty as well. Paid $20.70 and the regular price was $34.50. So looks like just about everything I got was on sale. Sans that one item, and I can't remember which one it was when I was, I didn't realize that. So um, I think I did really well. The entire I mean, for all of this, I think I spent around $400, if I'm correct, from two different stores and like I said, some of this may will probably be going back, but I wanted to get this done so I could take it back and if, if it's not a final sale item while we're out and about today. All right, let me get changed and we'll do a try on. Okay, so this is probably not how I would wear all of this. Um, I'm trying to just try on the pieces that I hauled. The jacket here fits me perfectly. It is a three-quarter length sleeve. I would not wear it with a puff sleeve sweater or anything, and I did try it on with that tie front blouse, but the tie front blouse hung out the bottom and there was too much material going on up here. So I would just do a very casual, maybe a shell, um, ivory shell underneath here or black or whatnot. And I would probably wear bone colored shoes or browns or whatnot with this as, you know, as a set. Um, I'm glad I went with an eight petite knees. There's absolutely no stretch whatsoever. And the thighs fit me perfectly. There would have been a real tough, had I not had a six petite with these, it would have been a problem. Um, they will, the pants will need to be altered just a hair at the bottom, um, but my guy can do that really well. I do like the little peplum jacket. I think it's really cute. I could style this with a t-shirt and jeans and bring that up a notch or, you know, as a suit type thing. So let me go ahead and take the jacket off. And this is that little popcorn puff sleeve sweater. And I think this is very casual, I mean, very cute together. I mean, this would be without a jacket, a little more comfortable. Um, but I think this is really cute. Keeping this little puff sleeve popcorn sweater for sure. I am going to keep the whole thing. I am going to have the pants soldier because for this price, uh, you, you, you don't normally find this for this price. Um, these fit really nicely. The waist is great. The thighs are great. It might be a little loose in here, but 
I don't have a choice considering I have thighs um, and I will need to have, like I said, the pants hemmed to fit me a little bit. Let's go down to the shoes. I think they're really sexy. I think they're super cute, easy to walk in, very comfortable. Please excuse my feet need lotion. But I think they're very easy, easy shoes to wear. Not sure I would wear them with this. So, um, but let me, what I'm going to do now, I'm not sure what I'm going to try that tie front blouse on with. I'm going to try to get as many items in each every time I turn on the camera. All right, final piece in that collection was the cap sleeve keyhole dress. Regular price on this was $149 and I got it for $34.92. I mean, it fits me perfectly. I wonder, give me one second. I wonder if it would be weird to have a matchy matchy jacket with it. It's not horrible. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I think it's too much here. I don't like all this here. So would not wear those two pieces together. But um, I think all in all, this was a really nice collection and the savings on this was impeccable. So when I need some business attire, and I do from time to time, um, I've got a couple pieces now. All right, so I've got the little um, gingham cropped ankle pants on and my own shoes. And this is the all seasons sweater. This is the one item that I thought was on sale that wasn't on sale and when the rest of it was. So, but I think this looks really cute together. Although in my loft haul, there's also a black top in there. So if I like that one with this better, then I'll return this one. So, um, but I think these fit great. I'm, I'm glad I went up a size in this so that they weren't distorting because that is what happens when I wear a patterned pant that and I put them on a little bit too tight. Um, the pattern will distort the stretched areas of my thighs and my hips and my booty. So um, I think that going up a size in this was probably my best bet. I think it's fun and I'm excited about these. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, so I decided to go ahead and throw on the loft little um, petal sleeve top with this. I feel like that makes this much more casual. Um, it probably looks the same on camera, but in picture, being that this is like a t-shirt, I think this would be cuter with just a pair of denim jeans or whatever. Um, I mean, it definitely could be worn together, but I think the other one was better put together. So that makes the decision for me. Okay, so now I have on the wide leg fluid pants with the tie waist and the little cropped tank top which was the right call going with the not the petite because I wanted to be able to tuck it in underneath this little paper bag area. I think it's cute, um, very comfortable. I think I would wear this with some brown sandals. Yeah, I like it. So I am, I am gonna look back and if everything, if any looks ridiculous on me or I feel uncomfortable in it, then those items that are not final sale will be returned. But I do, I think these are very summery, very fun. Although I will say, this summer hasn't really felt like much of a summer to me. On the days that we haven't been crazy, it's poured down rain and been overcast and not been in the pool. We've had like, what, three pool days and it's almost July. So, yeah, I do like these. I do like these. Okay, now here is the midi skirt with the slit at the knee. I was right. Um, I'm glad I went with the size. There's no stretch in it whatsoever. I'm, I do want to have the same top on with it. I could use a different top. Maybe that popcorn sweater would have been cute with it. I'm not sure. But I think it's cute. And again, the prices were incredible here. All right, now I'm gonna take this top off and I'm gonna, even if they don't match, I'm gonna try on the items because I'm down to like the nitty gritty where things don't really go together anymore. So we'll see what we come up with. Next we have on the um, Linen Blend Navy Blue Wide Leg Crops. They're very comfortable. I mean, they're a little bit of a high waist here with the buttons down the front. There are some pleats there pockets that are stitched that you could open in the back and side pockets here as well. I probably would not wear it with this top. I feel like it's a little too much going on, but I do actually like the top. I would wear this with jeans. I think it's really cute. Um, it's pretty bra friendly. I mean, you can see my straps here and here, so I'd probably wear a cross back bra, but um, I think it's really cute and it's got a neat texture to it. Great summertime sweater. All right, let's see what I come up with next. All right, here's the pajama set. The top is significantly larger than I anticipated it being, um, but I have a feeling that this is going to shrink, which it's to sleep in. So uh, the shorts fit me great. They do have a little drawstring waist here. I like the length of them for sleeping in. They're, I think they're super cute, super summery. The sleeves are not adjustable. So 
that has a little tie detail, but they don't really function. So I'm going to wash this sucker on hot and dry it on hot and maybe it'll fit me. Now what I'm going to do is I have like four tops left and I'm not going to try on that navy blue tank top that was like the white one because it's exactly the same thing. I'm going to put my jeans on that I'm wearing today. I'm going to try on the last four tops. So I know that this would not be worn together. This is the tie front top by Ann Taylor um, that was final sale, but it fits perfectly. I mean, it's there's no pulling here in the buttons. I already got makeup on it. The tie front, I like the kind of layers those buttons on. I would wear this with a pair of slacks and a pair of heels, um, but I do, I, re I do really like this top. So when I put it on with the first outfit, it was too much going on up here, and that's why I didn't show that to you. So three more tops. Okay, I'm happy to have this now. Um, this is the little poof sleeve. For some reason, something kept making me look back at this. And because that is now even less than half price what it was the first time, I just think it's really cute. It can be worn, dressed up, dressed down. It does have a little bit of a V-neck in the back. Um, you know what I haven't been doing? Pause for a second. All right, so it took me about 20 minutes, I felt like, to get this hooked because I can't see where the crap. But I did get this, I thought with the colors, there's golds and whites and stuff in here. I thought it would be really pretty up against the beige and the whites of this. Um, gold chain, very cute, a little frustrating to get on, but for $7 or whatever it was, that's not a bad price to pay. Um, I think this is fun. It does have a little V-neck in the back. Very comfortable, a little different, a little flirty, and I'm glad to have this and have paid less than half of what it came the first time I purchased it. All right, second to last top. For the life of me, I cannot remember what I told you this was, so you might have to go back and see what I said in the beginning. Um, it does have a little poof sleeve here. It is that interesting material, but it actually is very soft. I thought it might be scratchy on the skin, but it's not. This is in a medium petite. I like the color. It's kind of a, a rosewood, I think is what it was. And I have the little charm necklace on with it that has a little touch of this color in it, and I think it makes it fun. It dresses it up just a little bit. I have one more top. I feel like this has been the longest haul ever, but it's probably the best sale I've ever gotten. So, yay, we made it to the end of the try on. This is the blue plaid peplum little sweater. It is three quarter length sleeves. It's slightly snug up in here, but be being that it's a stretchy sweater, it doesn't affect movement at all. Um, I could redrop a few pounds and it will be just fine, which is on my to do list right now. I think this would be really cute in the winter time with some black denim and some brown boots. That's what I'm, that's what I'm seeing. It may, may make, make me look a little busty. I'll probably put a little necklace across it, but I think it's cute. All right, now I'm gonna go back, look at everything, see what you're seeing, decide what I'm keeping, what's going back. My opinion right now, I mean, a lot of it was final sales, so obviously I'm keeping all of those items. And if it was a really good deal, like those pants, um, Anything that needs to be hemmed or altered with the cost that I spent on it this time, I have no problem paying the 10 bucks or whatever to do that. So um, I'm just going to look back, see what you saw, give you my final, my final thoughts. I'm getting tongue tied again and we'll do a quick recap. Okay, for the sake of saving some time, um, I didn't try on this little navy blue um, cropped tank. It's the Forever Navy. It's going to fit exactly like the white one did. I'm sorry, seeing a glare. I didn't want to bore you with that and i did take a look at the the sleep top it is 55 percent cotton and 45 percent rayon so i have a feeling that this is going to shrink as long as i wash it the way i said i'm going to wash it it's probably going to be a wrinkled mess but heck i'm sleeping in it right so um looking back i mean obviously there were some pieces that i liked more than others but i can i was trying to just try everything on I mean, I did put my own jeans on for those last few tops, and these are those Cosmic Blue Love jeans that I got a couple days ago. Um, but I'm going to keep it all because I can mix and match with other items that I have in my closet. Um, some of those, some of the ways I put things together would not be how I would wear them. I was just looking at the pieces individually, and I can mix and match that with items that I currently own. Um, so I'm going to keep it all. I'm very happy with everything. Um, each piece individually, I do have to have those pants altered, but I think that is the only thing that I purchased that has to be taken in and have hemmed. The rest of it would either be shrunk or worn as is. So um, I think this was a fun collection of items and I think the prices were incredible. I do want to show you this little charm necklace a little closer. You've got little flower charms here. You've got um, stones, different colors of stones. This goes really well with that one wrinkly type top. A little coin here. It was just a lot of fun and I what I paid seven dollars for that. The other one I'll show up close to that I wore with the beige and white 
linen top. I thought that would be fun with that. And then I'll just give you one more little peek of this little silver bracelet. This was the only piece of jewelry I got from Ann Taylor. Like I said, there were several other items that I had purchased at the time. I want to say there were six or seven items that were purchased that I placed the order for that I got emails for saying that they were no longer in stock and they were refunding me that money. So that was my Ann Taylor loft haul. Um, I know there was quite a few pieces. I'm hoping this video isn't like crazy long. I'll do the best I can in editing. But I wanted to get them both done at the same time in case there were pieces I needed to return because we we're going to be out and about today and I could take them in store. So that's not a problem. We won't have to stop there today. Probably a good thing because I know they have clearance sections in there as well. Thanks for spending some time with me today. Let me know what your favorite item was below and come back and see me in the next video. And if you haven't subscribed already, I hope that you will. Um, I hope you'll choose to come back and spend some time with me. Um, I do all types of videos. I've been doing more vlogging here recently. Um, box unboxes hauls uh lifestyle you know reviews that types of things so um and i'm trying to branch out and find other ways to do things too so if you have any comments you know uh, options for that let me know in the description box not in the description box in the comments below all right guys have a happy day and i'll see you soon bye